Hey there, it's Tom Corson Knowles from blogbusinessschool.com where we teach you how to build a successful business blogging for free. Now today I want to tell you how to set up Facebook comments on your blog. Uh, this actually works for any website, any blog that uses WordPress. Um, if you're not using WordPress, it's a little bit more complicated, but if you're using WordPress, it's a very, very simple process to set up Facebook comments on your site. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. Um, this is one of my WordPress sites and then log in uh, to the back end of my site. Okay, so step one, you log into your WordPress site. Step two, you go to the navigation bar on the left and click plugins down here. And by the way, this is a tutorial video, so if there's any part where I go too fast for you, you can go ahead and pause it, rewind it, you know, take your time with this, but it's a very simple, fast process to set uh, Facebook comments up for your site. You know, once, you, once you've done it once, it'll be very easy to do it again. Uh, and you can use this video as a guide. Go ahead, after you've gone to plugins, click add new at the top, right here next to the plugins, it says add new. Okay, then it's going to ask you to install a plugin. Now, the easiest way to do this for the Facebook comments is actually just type in Facebook in the search box right here, and the very first plugin that will pop up is the official Facebook plugin. So you see this is the official Facebook plugin here, it's by Facebook.com. And this is the plugin that allows you to install uh, Facebook comments as well as some other really cool stuff with the Facebook plugin here. So then you go ahead and click right here. Mine's already installed, but just click right here to say install this plugin. So you click that and it'll install the plugin for you. And then all you need to do is activate the plugin after that. So you're going to find the Facebook plugin down here in your plugin section and just click activate. So mine's already activated. But you're going to click activate right there, and then the plugin's activated. Now, now you have to edit the settings of the plugin um, to do some things to make it work. Okay, so you're going to go to settings right there, and here is where you are going to do some of the backend stuff to create your plugin. So first of all, you have to create an app on Facebook. So to do that, you need to click this link right here. It says, get your app ID secret in a space at developers.facebook.com slash apps. So that website is developers.facebook.com slash apps. Now on this site, you're going to need to create a new app. So right here, I'm going to click create a new app. And it, it will probably ask you to log in to Facebook if you're not logged in already. So you just log in and you click on the very top right, create new app. Okay, so when you click create a new app, you're just going to pop up with a new app kind of like this. Uh, mine's already filled out, and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to fill out. So first of all, they're going to ask you for your display name and your namespace. So for display name, um, it can be whatever you want. It, it, um, this is the name, no more than 32 characters, less than, no, not less than three. Um, basically, it's a name that you use to remind yourself about your website or what your project is called. So for mine, this, is, this site is called freebookclub.org, so I just put the display name as freebookclub. And then for the namespace, same thing, I did freebookclub, except just remember that in the namespace, you cannot use any capital letters or spaces or special characters, so only letters and they all have to be together in one kind of big clump. So freebookclub in the namespace. Then you have to have your contact email. Um, then you have to um, put in uh, your domains that the app is going to work on. So this is going to be whatever site you're installing Facebook comments on. So um, for my site, it's www.freebookclub.org. Um, that's all you need to do there. Then you're going to scroll down here and you need to click the section that says website with Facebook login. And you're going to need to put in your site URL complete with HTTP. Very important you put the HTTP colon double backslash there. Uh, or double forward slash, and um, then freebookclub.org, and then same thing, you want to click mobile web, and make sure you put the same site URL for mobile. Okay, so that's all you need to do there, and you've created the app. Now what you need to do is take the app ID that you've created, and the app secret, as well as the app namespace, and install it uh, in WordPress. So right here, go back to Facebook for WordPress plugin, put in your app ID, just copy and paste it, copy and paste the app secret, copy and paste the namespace, and then you're golden, go down there and click save and um, the app is installed and it's working. Now you do need to install the comments here. So in the Facebook um, WordPress plugin, there's actually several things you can do. You can do social publisher, uh, you can put a like button, which is really cool. I like the like buttons. Um, I put them above my posts. 
subscribe buttons for people to subscribe to your personal profile, uh, send buttons where people can share uh, your content on Facebook and through messages and things like that, and then comments. So right here is where you're going to install Facebook comments. Just click the comment box right there, and then it's going to ask you how many numbers of posts do you want in your comments. So standard is 20, I'd leave it there. You're going to do more or less. That's just how many you're going to show on the page. Then it's going to ask for the width. Uh, most standard width is 470. You can make it wider or thinner, um, whatever you want. Color scheme, you know, light or dark. I think light looks a lot better depending, of course, on your background color of your site. And then you want to show it on, on uh, all posts and pages, all, all pages, all posts, and or sorry, all posts, all pages, or all posts and pages. So uh, if you don't want comments on your pages, which a lot of websites don't, then just do all posts. I like it on all posts and pages. I, see, I think if there's a visitor on anywhere on my website, they should be able to comment on Facebook and share that information out. I really like that. So once you do that, go ahead and click Save Changes, and you are golden. Uh, you have Facebook comments now installed on your blog, and this is what it will look like. Okay, so this is what the Facebook comments will look like right here. Um, this is my main nutrition blog, TomCorsonOls.com. And down here is the comment section for Facebook. And this is also the suggestions tab that just popped up uh, that comes with that Facebook plugin as well. It's optional, and I really like that because once someone's done reading your one article, it says, hey, why don't you check out these other ones? So here you can see the Facebook comment system. You can see people that have commented. You can click to their profiles. You can respond to their comments. Uh, really, really cool interactive comment system. It's a great way to get more traffic to your blog. I highly, highly recommend it. I think Facebook comments are better than any other comment system out there, hands down. Um, regardless of you know what industry you're in and what kind of website you have, Facebook comments just rock. So hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions about blogging, uh, any questions about how to get your Facebook comments working and saying troubles, just post them in the comments below or come to uh, my online marketing blog. It's on blogbusinessschool.com. And happy to help. Okay, have a great day. Take care.